You've probably noticed your baby startle with loud noises or turn their head when something brushes their cheek. These are a few examples of primitive reflexes and they're reflexes that your baby's born with and they're completely normal at first. But what if your baby doesn't grow out of them? What if they don't go away? What if your baby still startles really easily? What if they arch their back a lot? Or what if they struggle with coordination with movement when they should have really grown out of it? I'm Dr. Steve Laco with Laco Family Chiropractic. I specialize in pediatrics and pregnancy. And in this video, we're gonna go over what retained reflexes really means, what that talks about and how that ties into your baby's nervous system development, and then what we do to catch your baby's nervous system up and get rid of these retained reflexes. Reflexes are there as automatic movements that every baby is born with. So they're there to help the baby survive early on. When the baby starts to grow up and the brain starts to mature and grow, these reflexes should begin to fade or integrate. That allows for new higher level um, motor functions and things like that to start to develop and these new skills to develop. But when they don't integrate, when these reflexes stay around for longer than they should, the baby starts to get stuck in this newborn mode. Parents often see this without quite realizing what's going on. They see the issue, but they don't know that it's related to this reflex problem. So these are parents that bring their kids in and they're saying that uh, their child is waking up in the middle of the night or startling awake is the big one with every little noise. And this isn't just a baby that is just rolling over and starting to wake up in the middle of the night. This is a baby that gets frightened, that gets startled, their arms go out, they start to scream um, just out of nowhere in the middle of the night. There's also kids that will have tummy time issues where their head can't stay centered and it flops to one side or the other. Um, a lot of times parents come in and they say that their child arches their backs when they're upset or feeding. And we've all seen that before where a parent will hold the baby and all of a sudden they'll throw their head back and arch their back then you have to like quickly catch them, right? Um, and then there's also the cross crawl issues. So they're having trouble rolling or crawling, walking, coordinating one side of their body to the other. Um, when we're doing cross crawl patterns, that's between one side of the brain to the opposite side of the body. And that's a lot to do with our crawling where we do opposite leg to opposite arm or walking where we're swinging the opposite arm and stepping with the opposite leg. This isn't behavioral stuff. This is all neurological stuff that can be corrected. These reflexes like the Moro reflex or startle reflex, the grasp reflex, uh, the gallant reflex, the ATNR reflex, rooting reflex, these are just to name a few. They are all there as part of and developing as part of the lower brain, so the brain stem. These are kind of like the training wheels of development. So they're there to allow the baby to start to eat, to grow, to move, to respond to their environment. And we all know through past videos that I've done that brain development starts from bottom up and back to front. So when these higher levels of the brain development are occurring, but we have some delay or interruption in that lower part, these reflexes remain active. And that's not what we want. So I often see parents bring their child in and after we're doing a thorough history with them, we find out that most of these kids had stressors throughout pregnancy and or birth. So that could be things like um, a very long delayed delivery, uh, the use of C-section or forceps or vacuum extraction. These can create tension in certain areas, especially the upper neck and the brainstem where these reflexes are controlled. And if that area stays irritated or the nervous system stays in fight or flight, then it blocks the true integration that we're trying to achieve. So that's why we see these babies that are having so much trouble calming themselves or sleeping, feeding, um, just doing motor control or meeting milestones. They're just struggling in so many different areas because they're stuck in that primitive pattern and they haven't progressed into mature control. In our office, we look at how well those reflexes have integrated. 
Um, I mean, we even see adults with retained primitive reflexes that just have never developed past that point. So what we do in our office is we utilize different technologies to be able to assess the nervous system, especially in that upper neck and brainstem to allow us no guessing work. It shows us exactly what is going on in the nervous system, how deep rooted it is, how long it's going to take us to correct and get that nervous system moving and working on that smooth pattern, that smooth machine that it should be working on. Uh, it also allows us to periodically retest with that technology to see the development, the changes, and the ad adaptability that the body is going through and the nervous system is going through with the specific adjustments that we're giving them. Now this doesn't replace PT or OT, reflux therapy, things like that. It actually enhances it. We work with a lot of these professionals in our area, even around the Metro Atlanta area. Um, we constantly are getting referrals from them, especially the harder cases, the cases where kids just aren't reaching those goals, are not achieving progress with the therapies that they're going through because if the core foundation of that nervous system isn't responding or isn't working properly, then everything else is gonna be an uphill battle. I know it can be frustrating seeing your child struggle with certain things, especially when you're in your groups and you see other kids doing these things and your baby is struggling with those. So reflexes can be a big thing. They can be very frustrating, but it just means that you need to have a trained eye to see what's going on. And that baby just needs a little bit of more time, but more importantly, more support to catch up. So we know that once the nervous system is free and allows the brain to communicate with the nervous system to the body and vice versa, that it's able to regulate properly. Retained reflexes really just means that your baby needs more time, but more importantly, more support to regulate itself. Once we get the nervous system regulating and communicating between the brain through the nervous system to the body and then vice versa, the body to the brain. Uh, once we get that regulating well and coordinating well, development just accelerates. So I've seen kids, I've seen extreme cases, I've seen very mild cases, but either way, I've seen these kids through a short amount of time with progressive adjustments and using our scans and technology, just start to control their movements better, to improve, to sleep better, eat better, all these retained reflexes start to go away, again, in a short amount of time. If your baby seems sensitive or easily startled, struggling with coordinated movements, uh, anything that we mention in this video, let's not do the uh, wait and see, right? Let's make sure that we're staying proactive with their health and really getting after it right when this happens so it doesn't develop into a deeper set problem. So if you want to learn more and understand more about reflexes and tone and development of your child, make sure to like and subscribe to the page. I'm Dr. Steve Laco, and I'll see you on the next video.